Oh, it was minus degrees last night, so I'm just taking a quick uh, film here to, to show what I do when I know it's going to be much colder than it has been. This is the Shetland kale that I've taken out of the greenhouse. Basically, I have, I look at it in terms of bottlenecks. So I uh, have one, this one here comes down like this. So at night time, I have, I have it covered like that. And then in the morning, when I come in, I'll lift it back up again. Basically, it's just one side of the small greenhouse. And I have this little fan here. And in here, I can have all the plants that need at least 10 degrees at night. So any of the nightshade tomato type plants or any of the cucumber squash type plants, they don't really want to be any colder than 10. And you can see this bean here was not super happy last night because he's at the edge here. So he probably got a little bit of a draft, but most of them look pretty good even though it was minus one in here. Although that one right there isn't super happy, but it'll be fine in an hour or two. You can see the one in the back there is opening its leaves already. So there's a bit of a difference there. Then I have the second table which is pretty much the same, but um, yeah, it's pretty much the same setup. And then I have all the plants that are outside. And then here I have, depending on uh, how warm they need to be, uh, basically if they're on the sunny side, which is this side, then they can manage more heat than if they're on the colder side in the shade. And then I have the ones that are actually on the ground and then the ones that are lifted up so here you can see Udo from last night. That very likely uh, will die back now and have to start all over again, which is a shame. Um, but a lot of the small plants, you can see here, still made it through the frost, so that's surprising. The lettuce, which is a Russian uh, variety, it's quite hardy. And this Udo, managed but this udo is probably damaged and then under here i have also micro protection within the protection and there's coriander and they managed all the udos that came up in here are now struggling so that's a bit of a shame most of the stuff in the back here is doing all right spinach of course not a problem yeah all the udos that i was taking nice pictures of yesterday they're all dying back now. That's a real shame. Real shame. It happens.